suspension on this thing is immaculate. It feels like I'm riding a dirt bike. <laughs> oh lord, this is fun. Alright guys, so this video is starting out a little bit different. Here is the Narika Prime that y'all have seen before and we have ripped some fat wheelies on before. Wheelies in front of supercars is always my favorite. Max, the owner of Narika, decided to hit me up and say that he wants me to review a new bike that they have. And this one is a little special. I'm one of the first people in the world to get one of these things. They're not out yet, but by the time you're seeing this video, you'll be able to get one. So let's take this piece of art, move it out of the way, and then let's go ahead and unbox this new one. When you get the Narika Revenant, I don't know if you see, but there's some nice pretty blue in there. We got a blue pearl and first peak is actually really beautiful. Let me go ahead and unbox. Seat. Get a screen. You get your charger device plus keys and then the charger also comes with some spare fuses just in case they pop. Yo, front wheel. This bike has ABS brakes. And there's two brake rotors there. So I'm assuming that this might be an ABS brake rotor. Which is just about the coolest thing you can ever see on a bicycle because I've never seen a bicycle with ABS brakes before. I'm really excited to test it out and see what it actually feels like. I will be locking this thing up and testing out these ABS for sure in this video. Nothing else to do but to do it. Oh, she looks bad. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. That thing looks sick. Oh my goodness, this looks a lot beefier than it even does in the pictures. Battery, pedals, and a set of Allen wrenches, and that is it. So I'm going to put all this stuff in back inside the box, and then let's start assembling this thing. You tighten up the front axle. It's just a through axle. It just goes through. We have the sport saddle. This one's just going to be lightweight and nice, which can't be mad about that. What a unit of a bike. Holy crap. Pedals, obviously, the right one goes on the right, the left one goes on the left. So now we have a put together bike and I want to say something. This thing is light. First impressions are this thing is also nice. I kind of want to see if it turns on. Hey, it did something. Oh my gosh. Let's see what this thing. I guess that's gonna be it for the unboxing of this thing. Now you see how freaking dope it looks. Let's go ahead and get some footage riding this thing because you see how good it looks and it performs almost just as good, if not better. So let's get some POV of this thing. I am on the Narika Revenant. This is a brand new bike from Narika and it is a full suspension bike. <laughs> and yes, before you even need to ask, she does wheelies like no one's business, even though she's full suspension. She's got all the brakes. This bike does in fact have all the hop-ups as well. So that's something to know that this bike does have all the good stuff, but at the same time, I did a price breakout and it's really not that expensive for this bike for what you get. Let me go ahead and start y'all off with, this is the nicest bike that I have ever ridden as far as electric mountain bike. It's got a little bit skinnier tires instead of the fat bike. So it's not as big as the tires that are in the fat bike, but they are 2.7 inch wide and those are four inch wide on the front. And on the back, it's got a three inch wide tire. So it's a little thicker back there. It's kind of like a th as thick as a Suron tire. It's got the Shimano Dior brakes, which feel amazing. This bike also has ABS brakes. That's something I want to show y'all. So that's a pretty steep hill, if you can see. The hill's obviously taller than Caleb. So you can see there's leaves. One thing about mountain bikes and leaves is they're super slippery whenever you're riding it. I'm going to test the ABS out and see if I can ride down with just holding front brake and not crash. I'm really trusting the ABS system because in any other situation, I would wash out and just completely crash. So we're going to go down full front brake, see what the ABS can do. All right, full front brake. Okay. That was hard to commit to, but as soon as I did it, it spun the tire for me and it didn't let it lock up and wash out. Okay, ABS on this thing works, so the test is there and I'm surprised. Let's see what else this thing can do since it's so high tech. Suspension leakage looks good too. So I wanted to make sure that that was known. This thing has ABS brakes and they work. I, I didn't think that I'd ever be riding a bicycle with ABS brakes and also admitting that I like ABS brakes on a bicycle. It's really interesting. I don't really know how trails would work, but I guess we're gonna go ahead and find that out here in a little bit. It's getting a little dark. We'll go ahead and swap around next day. We got Tanner here on the Narika Prime. 
more than 1700 miles on this thing and she is doing freaking flawless and not a single issue and just like a bicycle should stands right up <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. okay i will admit that's dumb should not be legal and it probably isn't legal but it's perfect i just want to show you all how good these things look look at that that's insane Oh my gosh, this is so smooth, it's insane. Holy cow, this suspension, that's nice. That's like real nice. Do you think it does a burnout? Not like the chopper. <laughs> she does a burnout. Ooh. And she'll do a wheelie too, if you don't notice. Let's go do some technical stuff. Do some sand. She's pretty agile, I'll give it that. So this bike is a thousand watts. Instead of having a mid-drive motor, it's got a hub motor, which means that there's no problems with the chain binding up or doing anything like that. I'm sorry, I definitely wanna take this detour right here because there's a few jumps. This is a pretty big downhill. You might not be able to tell from the video, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit it real quick and there's a lot of leaves if you know anything about bikes you know i would have eaten crap trying to stop doing that just now <laughs> since this bike has abs brakes it essentially stops on a dime on any surface if you've ever ridden a bicycle on leaves you know just how slippery it can get and let me show you something i'm gonna go from no brake at all i'm gonna hit some leaves and i'm gonna go full front brake no rear and watch my hand. Ready? Did you see that? That is insane. Basically what ABS brakes do is they pulse the brakes so that way they spin a little bit slower than normal and it keeps your wheel rolling on the pavement or whatever surface you're on, no matter how slippery it is. It won't lock up your front tire. I would feel comfortable putting a brand new rider on this bike and not having any problems because of how smooth it is and because how safe that ABS system is. I'm gonna do a full speed on tarmac here in just a second. There's no possible way anyone that's riding this bike brand new can grab too much front brake and loop it over. With these, you can just grab it as much as you want anytime. And I'm going full force with this. As soon as I hit the brake, I am full force. 34. And now I'm gonna grab full front brake, ready? <laughs> if you've ever been on any sort of motorcycle or bike or anything, going full speed on that bike or anywhere 34 miles an hour is enough. Grabbing all front brake and nothing else is so unfathomable because you would erect instantly. And on this bike, since it's got the ABS, it's not even a single problem. Let's do what this thing does best and take it on a trail. Ooh, it's super slippery. Shift her all the way down into the lowest gear. <laughs> Shortcuts are the best things. All right. Flat ground. Oh, and she took it like a champ. Wow, okay. This bike should prove a little bit to you already. She does good. She'll spin that back tire too. This is a thousand watts, but it's the most power I've ever seen out of a thousand watt e-bike ever. One thing about this bike is it feels amazing because it's carbon fiber. That's one of the big uh, upsides to this bike is it's carbon fiber. It's crazy to think that something that weighs as much as a regular mountain bike can go 34 miles an hour and assist you up hills. The ABS is so nice, oh my gosh. Oh my Lord. It's so manageable. What in the world? I can literally just ride along and the ABS doesn't slide on these leaves. So the rear brake doesn't have ABS, but the front does. But on a mountain bike, that's really all you need is just the front. Wowzers. So that's a little off-road test for this thing. 
Mind you, everything feels so smooth because it's a full suspension bike. This thing feels dialed in every step of the way. Let me show you how light it is. I got the whole bike right here. It's off the ground. Nothing. It's got a tail light that's integrated, the pub motor, which is great. It's got the big brakes, which feel 10 times better when you're doing a wheelie. It's also got ABS module right here. So if you're wondering what that is, that's the ABS. The power system's the same as all the Narika bikes. The frame does look amazing. There's no welds on it, just like all the other Narika bikes because they're all made out of carbon fiber. You do get what you pay for for this bike. It is a piece of art, but it's also a very capable piece of art. So you have to know what you're getting when you get into it. Oh yeah, that's right. Narika, Revenant, and the Prime are the coolest bikes I ever seen in my day of life. I will say overall experience with this thing is a 10 out of 10. Everything feels so good whenever you're sitting on it and just riding. Stairs like nothing. Another set of stairs. <laughs> That's that good suspension test right there. <laughs> Golly, this thing takes it like nothing. Oh my goodness. But there is a fork lock on this thing. So you can tell there's air in the fork right now. It's got air suspension. So there's air in the fork. You can see it articulating. I'm going to go ahead and lock it. And now it doesn't articulate. It stays in place. So now that's something that's controlled by handlebar controls. There's a little cable that goes to right here and it locks the fork on your handlebars. So I guess that's interesting. I've never seen that before, but I will say it's pretty nice though. If you guys want to pick one up, go ahead into the link in my description. You can go ahead and order one directly from Max's Indiegogo link, I believe is how you get it. So it's an easier way to do it. They're built to order, so you do have to... Howdy! So it does take them a little bit of time to get built. So give them a little bit of time whenever you order your bike. However, I do recommend this thing 10 out of 10. This is the bike you want to get if you want to get into off-road mountain biking and you want an electric motor to help you do it because I've done it so many years of my life and if I would have had a motor under me the whole entire time, I would have been the happiest camper and I would have been so much better on the trails because I would have been able to go through them 20 times in the time it would take you to pedal through once. With this conclusion, I'm going to give go ahead and give y'all one last ABS stop with the, just one hand on the bars and uh, I guess we'll go ahead and call it. <laughs> you ain't never seen anything like that before. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you get a good opinion of this bike. Remember to freaking send it. It has the torque. Yes, sir. <laughs> Man, they're fun.